So hello everyone, uh, I am just going to do a quick video um, of the things I got for Christmas if anyone's even interested in what I got. Uh, I'm doing it a bit differently today, I've actually got the camera facing me so I can see what I'm doing um, but I'm a bit concerned that the colours are going to look a bit washed out um, so we shall see what happens. Right, so the first thing I got, um, I got off my mum and dad and it is this dress, it's just like a sweetheart neckline with a little collar, um, spaghetti straps and then it's got some got some ruching at the side to make it fit nicely and just a zip just a zip down the back um, it's sort of got a band around the middle and then it just flares out to a sort of a full a full skirt and it's got the most cutest pattern I don't know if you can see that wherever it is it's got all spiders and skulls and all the like on it and this is by the brand Hell Bunny they are my favourite dress brand or my favourite brand I've got an awful lot of dresses by them as you will see in a minute. Um, uh, and yeah, it's in size large. Now I find with Hell Bunny you have to be um, a little bit hit and miss with the sizes. You can buy something in a large and it's far too big. You can buy something in a in a um, extra large and it'll still it'll be far too small. Um, it does tend to be a little bit hit and miss. I mean I'm normally about a size um, 12, maybe a 14 in some things. Um, that This is in a large, but I also got this dress for Christmas which is also Hell Bunny uh, and this one's actually in a medium and this one is just a big full length like gypsy type dress it's got cute little puff sleeves with little um, bows on and they've got their stretchy uh, it's got a black um, design around the neckline uh, it comes down to like a stretchy under bust so it gives it a nice fit it's got, it's got buttons all the way down the front uh, and then it's just got a big ruffle along the bottom a big ruffle and that's also trimmed with the black trimming uh, it's got just plain at the back but it's got a big ribbon like bow tie that you can tie up to give it that, that better fit um, so this is by Hell Bunny as well as you can, as you can see there um, yeah what I normally do, the first dress wouldn't work with this, but normally with this sort of dress where it's got a really full skirt, I will put that on with like a big petticoat to make it even fuller and even more sort of puffy. Um, and it's in sort of a really nice, thick, durable fabric. The other one's in a bit more of a thin fabric. The thing is that the first one was actually, because I chose these myself and I paid for these, um, and gave me the money, so the first one is actually a lot cheaper. I think I paid 19 99 for that. Um, this one was quite a lot more money. This one, I think it originally should have been about £55. Um, but I managed to get it a bit cheaper from Blue Banana, I believe, uh, and it was about £35, so yeah, there's that. Uh, the next thing I got, or oh, I have actually used a pair of these, but the next thing I got were just some, in my stocking, were just some plain socks, just plain black socks. And as my mum said to me when she when she gave them to me, um, I don't suppose they'll stay in a pair for very long, and that is true. My socks, I will probably have these as a pair, well, they'll probably be as a pair in the pack, and then once they've been in the wash, they will be odd socks and paired with coloured socks and all kinds of things. As I sit here now, I have one bright yellow sock and one black sock on, because I don't know where my socks are. I think the machine eats them, or the neighbours come round and they steal them, because I don't know what else could possibly happen to pairs of socks. Um, the next thing I got was this, I got this on my auntie and uncle, and it's a gold digger nail varnish set. And I did have swatches of these on the packaging, but I've actually on the outer packaging, but I've actually chucked them away. Um, so the first one is in hot pink. That's a really pretty shade. Uh, the next one is in mirror black. Excuse my finger now, because um, as you can see, half the polish has fallen off. And that's in mirror black, and that's got all like oh, you can see it quite well. That's actually got gold sparkles in. That's really pretty. And the next one, the next one, I don't know if I'm going to wear it. It's a little bit too neutral for me. I might try and put it over the top of a of a darker colour and see if it changes the colour. Uh, this is shimmer gold. That's a little bit, a little bit light for me. Um, but I shall try. I shall try and work it over the top of another colour and see what happens. Uh, and the last thing I got in the kit, if I can get it out. <laughs> the faces I pull on these videos, you must think I'm pretty strange. I can't get it out. The last thing is just a little shimmery gold nail file, which is always going to come in handy if, of course, I can get it out of the packaging. Uh, the next thing I got, I got off my old boss. It came in a box like this, and it's by the brand Annabelle Walker London. 
and it proves my boss knows me quite well for what she's bought me. Um, it's a necklace, and it's a necklace with all little, I don't know if you can, well you can see that, with all little tiny skulls. Um, there's silver ones and there's goldy bronze ones, and it is just so cute. It's just perfect for me. It's just, just so me. Um, and considering I've not worked for this boss in the last probably two years, it was quite sweet of her to bring that into my work for me. Um, so yeah, there was that one. Uh, the next thing I got was um, this. This was actually this was actually my mum's Christmas present, but I got something that mum preferred, and she got something that I preferred, so we did a little swap. And it's this scarf, and it's so cute. It's super cute with little with little hedgehogs and hearts on it. It's quite a long scarf as well, so as you can see, it's quite long. Uh, and the actual th these bits actually work when you put it around your neck. They work as pockets to put your hands in to keep them warm. So I just thought, and it's not really very mum, it's probably, probably is more my sort of age group um, type thing than my mum who's in her 60s, but um, I just think that is super cute. And the one I gave to mum was like a, a ruffly leopard print type thing with a pair of gloves. And I'm not really a leopard print type girl, so that was perfect for me. Um, the next thing, I, I didn't get a lot of really rivetingly exciting things um, this year for Christmas. I sort of got a lot of... I got a lot of practical, I mean, things I shan't show you, I got a vacuum cleaner which is standing over there, um, which proves you're getting old when people buy you vacuum cleaners. I said to my parents on Christmas Day, it really does say something when the most exciting toy you've got to play with and put together is a vacuum cleaner. But I needed one and it was greatly appreciated, so um, that's all I can say really. The next thing I got, I got off my dad, which is just a plain torch. I, we, we, Mum and Dad are still together, I'm going to have all the rest of it, but we have this thing that, because I always say Dad's clueless when it comes to shopping, so we always, I always say, Dad, you've got to buy me a present without Mum's help. Um, <laughs> so this is what he bought me, and it's actually really useful, because I have to go around the back of my flats um, to put like my utilities on in the pitch black when I get home from work, and it is the scariest thing in the world. Um, there's normally no one else in the other flats. It's just really dark and really creepy. So I've got this so that I can obviously not be in the dark and not be scared half to death and I can actually see what I'm doing. Um, so it's just a plain torch, uh, rubber torch. I should be putting that in my handbag so it's there. Um, it's there when I come over from work when I need to go around the back and put my gas on. It's also handy because my bin's around the back as well so I can see what I'm doing there as well too. Uh, next thing was off my best friend and it is just a Primark gift card. And he's put me £10 on there which is very sweet of him um, considering I didn't spend that much on him but uh, there we go. So I shall have a look in Primarks. As I, said, as I said to my friend, he said, sorry it wasn't very much. I said, well, to be fair, it's Primark. It's £10 for Primark. I can probably still buy most of the store for this £10. So that's really handy. Uh, the next things I got were in my stocking. And they are just two body sprays. This one is Impulse um, Love Puzzle. And this one <clears throat> is Charlie Essence. I'm a bit annoyed with Charlie because Charlie always used to do a blue one. Um, probably about three, four, maybe five years ago, did this blue spray, Char just called Charlie Blue, I think it was the original fragrance, um, and for some reason they stopped doing it, and it was the best smell of any deodorant I've ever smelt, um, but they stopped, I think you can get it in gift sets now, but you can't get it in, um, like on its own on the shelf, so I've got my Charlie Essence, so that was nice, in my stocking, uh, the next thing I got, I got off my um, cousin, my female cousin, and it is just a pair of Super cute. Um, I'm going to call it a koala. No, I'm not. I'm going to call it a raccoon. I think it is a raccoon. Super cute pair of raccoon gloves. Um, and they're just these ones where you put them on and they go on like that. And then if, you, if your fingers start getting cold or if you need to do anything, you can then um, switch it around and put the, the finger part over. But I tend to use it um, without because I always need to rummage around in my bag or fiddle on my phone or whatever. So, um, so yeah, got those. And then, keeping with the glove theme, in my stocking, my parents gave me um, just a pair of plain purple. These are the magic gloves. They're really the best gloves. Um, the best gloves that you can. It's back to front, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, the best gloves you can have because my hands are quite tiny. My hands are quite teeny tiny. And if you buy, if I buy normal gloves, they're always too big and they don't fit and they fall off and they're uncomfortable. So these ones, you put them on. They look and they look microscopic even compared to my. Actually, maybe not compared to my hands. Um, they look tiny, but as soon as you put them on, they stretch up and they fit perfectly. The only thing with these is if you have long nails, they tend to poke through the ends. But, um, yeah, super, super cute and super comfy. So, yeah, there's those. Uh, the next thing I got 
I got was this. This again was off mum and dad. And this is, this was bought, I, again I chose this. And this was bought to go with the second dress, the red dress. But I don't know if I'm going to necessarily use it. And it's just this super cute um, rhinestone iron-on transfer uh, that just goes on. It just goes on, you just press, put some heat on, but I presume you put um, a cloth over it, a wet cloth, and then you just iron it on. It didn't actually come with instructions, so um, that could be interesting, unless, of course, it's just a sticky. No, I think you must iron it on. You must put put your iron over it um, and do it like that. So there's that, and I mean, the other thing I've got, I've got an airing horse, which, again, I haven't got to show you. Because um, it wasn't very exciting. Oh, one thing I have got. I've been wearing this. This is. I was a little bit concerned. I looked under the tree and there was squashy. When I got to my mum's, there was squashy presents from my parents. Um, and squashy presents to me mean clothes. I knew one was going to be pajamas, which it was. Um, which I've chucked over there, so I shan't show you those. Um, and I knew, and I, I knew one would be pajamas, and then one was going to be something that my mother had chosen by herself. Um, now I'm always a little dubious, a little bit concerned about my mother buying buy me anything because she hasn't really got a lot of idea about my style um so when she bought me a clothes i was a little bit oh my goodness whatever she bought and i left it till last because i was so concerned um but no she she did well she did well i like this i like what she bought um I'll find the top it's just from marks and spencers her favorite shop it's just a plain black full length cardigan um in a super soft like lambs well no buttons down the front just I don't button card. I don't really like buttoning cardigans up, so it's just one that hangs loose. And then on the sleeves, it's just got some super cute little black and gold buttons with just a little cuff. Um, and I've been wearing this for work. In fact, I wore it to work the last two uh, two days last week. Um, I wore it yesterday, and it's really warm, really comfy. And actually, it's got some cute little pockets on the front as well, hasn't it? It's got some cute little pockets. It's got a cute little patch pocket there that you can just quite handy for me when I go outside at work and I need to take my, take my um, card I can just slip that in there so I can get back in um, so the, yeah that was that so she didn't do too badly I thought she probably bought me some floral top or something in pink and I was a little bit concerned but no she did well um, I think that's about it the last the other present I said I got a vacuum I got an airing horse which is out there with loads of clothes on so I can't show you that um, my uncle bought me some towels which <clears throat> was very handy um, but they're in the washing machine because I need to wash them through before I can use them. Oh, the last present I got. Now, this is off my boyfriend. Bear in mind, my boyfriend is younger than me. My boyfriend's 26. About that, I can't remember that, isn't it? Um, I think he's 20. Yeah, he's 26. 70. 78. 87, even. Oh, God, it's not good. Um, 87. Um, he was born. So that would make him what? Yeah, he's 26. And I'm nearly 29. And this is what my boyfriend deemed to buy me. Isn't it cute? She is just super cute. She's huge. She's massive. She's got a big tail. But there she is. Isn't she just gorgeous? <laughs> Hello, YouTube. <laughs> yes, so he got me that. We didn't exchange presents until... We didn't exchange presents until Boxing Day. Um, and he came in. I said to him, you have to have your presents first. Um, because I like to have, I like, whenever I unwrap my presents, I always give the presents out at home and I always leave myself the most of last. So, so everyone else has got two, I always make sure I've got four. So that when everyone has finished opening theirs, I've still got two. So I said, you're going to have to leave yours, your present to me in the car, um, while I, while you unwrap mine. So he unwrapped all his and I bought him a whole load of Chelsea stuff and I bought him a computer game and stuff. Um, and I, he came, anyway, he finished opening his presents and he came back in. He said, you've got to close your eyes because I've not wrapped it. I said, how can you not wrap my present? How dare you not wrap it? Um, and then he presented this to me in my arms while I sat there. And I thought, yeah, you know, I know, I can see why you've not wrapped it. And she doubles up, she doubles up as a pillow. She's a bit lumpy, but she actually doubles up as a, as a pillow. So you can put your head on her and she's really, really warm. What I've taken to doing is in the morning when I wake up before the heating comes on, is I've taken to laying down and flopping her over me. She's super warm. She's so nice. And she's, she's just fab. She's cool. I think he said she was called um, Sammy or something in the shop. Well, I thought I'm going to call her Sammy. So I've called her Daisy, Daisy Dog. So, and I looked at the label on the on her bottom. And bearing in mind, he's younger than me. And he always tells me I like, act like I'm about two. And he says, oh, you grow up and all the rest of it. He's encouraged me to be a child. This came from Toys R Us. Toys R Us. You buy your nearly 30-year-old girlfriend a present from Toys R Us. 
yep, that makes sense. But I love her. I don't care. He says, it's because I always say how much I want a dog. And because I'm out of work and because I live in a little tiddly widdly flat, um, obviously I can't have a dog. So, um, so he bought me this. And she's fab. One thing I will show you, I will quickly go and grab my pyjamas that mum bought me and show you. Because they're quite cute. Bear with me a second. And I have been wearing these, so they're all inside out. Um, the pyjamas my mum bought me are these. Um, they've got a cute ribbon on the top. Which you can obviously tie in a bow should you desire to. Although the bow does keep coming undone. So I think I may have to cut the ribbon off. But it's like that. And then they've just got hearts. God, I can tell I've been wearing them. <laughs> and they've just got hearts on. Like a pink, pink hearts. And then on the leg, they've got, it says, posh cow. And it's because mum, I was having a conversation with mum a few weeks back. And she was saying about dressing up. I said, oh, I always love to dress up. Um, it's nice to dress up and look posh and look all done up. Um, so she bought me some pyjamas that said Posh Cow because she was playing on what I'd said to her. And the top, which is inside out because I've been wearing it, as I keep saying. Um, the top is like, is like this. And again, that's just got just plain pink with Posh Cow on the front. Um, and she's got a hair dryer and she's making herself look all beautiful. So they were quite cute. Oh, one other present I did get that I just grab is this. And this again, this is super cute. This, is, this was in my stocking from mum and dad. Um, and it's just a little snowman. And she changed, uh, if you can tell, well, you can see that. But she, she changes colour. She changes colour. So, although it's going to be put away, um, I haven't got a lot of Christmas decoration because I've moved around quite a bit and things have got lost as I've moved. Um, that'll go in the box and that'll be used for next year. Um, not sure what else there is to say. Uh, that is all the presents I got. I know it doesn't look like I got a great deal, but to be fair, I got an expensive vacuum and, and different bits. I mean, I chose my dresses. If, if mum had chosen my things, I'd have probably got more because I chose them. That's what I got. Um, but yeah, so from us, bye-bye. See you next time. Bye.